that's gonna start shaping that lower part of your chest. So that is the secret and the key to getting rid of those man boobs. Hey man, Gary Walker here and welcome back for another video. This video, it's all about the man boobs, all right? I'm gonna give you three things you need to do to get rid of man boobs. First, before we go into the full details and get into the actual video, I wanna offer you something, all right? I got my free Ripped in Six workouts. Designed these a few years back. A lot of people had a lot of success with them. So basically it's 12 different Met training workouts, all six minutes each. These can be done anywhere to get an extra boost of energy and help you burn extra calories. So all you need to do is click on the link below in the description box and we will send that directly to your inbox so you can get started with your Ripped in Six workouts. Here's the thing, when it comes to getting rid of the man boobs, I'm gonna show you three exercises, but all that's gonna do is help shape the lower pecs, the lower chest, all right? So at the end of the day, I hope you know this, but if you have a lot of body fat on your body, then typically you gotta lose that body fat. You gotta get the weight off. There's some other things you have to do with nutrition, with your cardiovascular workouts, a lot of different things to get you leaner while we're sculpting and shaping the lower chest, all right? So with that said, if you need help with that, I do have my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, my Alpha Maker project, my AMP program. I've been running this for two and a half years very successfully. I've worked with hundreds of men over the past two and a half years doing exactly this, helping them get rid of the man boobs. All right, because at the end of the day, it can be a guessing game for a lot of people. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of misinformation and a lot of bad information. So what I try to do is get you into my program, we eliminate the crap that you don't need to know, and I streamline everything. I tell you exactly what to do, how to do it, when to do it, to get you the best results possible, and to help get that body fat off quickly. So if you're interested in that, there's also a link in the description box for my Alpha Maker or AMP program. So make sure you click on the link and just get more details about that. All right, hey, let's get into this actual video. I'm gonna give you three of my favorite lower chest exercises. And the first one we're gonna do, let's come right over here. It's gonna be a version of a decline bench press. The reason I say a version of it, all right? This is a flat bench, as you can see. Now, if you've ever done a decline bench before, or you see the decline benches at the gym, they're basically this angle. This is a very steep and awkward angle for anybody, especially men over 40. All right, men over 40 tend to lack mobility in their shoulder capsules, and there's a lot more wear and tear in your shoulders. So if you're doing this exercise incorrectly, it's very easy to hurt your shoulders, which can set you back a long time as an older guy, all right? So basically what I like to do to fix the angle is I like to get a flat bench and use basically like a bumper plate, all right? A bumper plate here isn't too long, uh, isn't too high, it's basically about two and a half inches. And I like to just put this right under the bottom of this. Now you'll see a slight decline. This is the perfect decline angle to target your lower chest without really damaging your shoulder joints, all right? Here's the other thing you can do. If you really wanna target your chest a little bit more and you start with this angle and you're still not quite filling the lower chest, all you have to do is create a little bit more of an arch in your lower back. Arch your lower back a little bit more and that's gonna give you a little bit more of a decline angle, all right? So pretty simple fix. So let me get a couple dumbbells, show you what this looks like. I'm just gonna do a few reps here. Give you a couple pointers when you're doing a decline. All right, so you'll notice the angle. Now my chest is a little lower than my hips, which is what you wanna do. The thing I really want you to focus on though is you don't want this big elbow flare. When people do bench presses, presses you'll notice the elbows out directly to my side. Again, really hard on your shoulders. So I want you to bring your elbows in slightly. Bring your elbows in, and then we're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then that's gonna help protect your shoulders, all right? From here, we're gonna drive straight up over the lower chest. 
you're gonna come down in the same angle with these elbows, right down towards your sides. Nice stretch in your lower chest. Press right back up. The other thing, the last thing I'll mention with this is you're not just pressing straight up, you're coming up and in towards the middle of your body. That's towards the midline. All right, so you can see this from the front angle. Nice stretch here in my chest. As I push up, I'm also pushing towards the midline of my body, up and in. See how the dumbbells are hitting right there? As opposed to down and straight up. All right, you don't wanna just come straight up, you wanna come up and in. That's gonna allow you to really hit those lower pecs. All right, so this is gonna be my first exercise I want you to do to really start shaping the lower chest. The next one, it's a little bit more of an advanced movement. It's a parallel bar dip. If you have access to a gym, a lot of times you can do the assisted dips. If you can't really support your full body weight, most gyms have that little pad you either step on or put your knees on, and you can add some weight to take away from your own body weight. So if you need to do that, that's gonna be fine as well. The thing I want you to focus on when you're doing a parallel bar dip for your chest, you wanna come out as wide as possible, all right? You'll notice these always come in. The more close your elbows are to your body, the more you're gonna hit those triceps, little less chest activation. As you come out, meaning you're going here, you're coming out wider, this is gonna be better for your chest. With that said, you still need to be safe with your shoulders. So being wide doesn't mean have that big elbow flare. Just because your hand width is wider, I still want you to bring your elbows in, okay? That's gonna help protect your shoulder joints. Next thing you really wanna focus on is a forward lean. If you're directly upright with your torso, once again, a lot of triceps as opposed to chest. From here is triceps. As you come forward, it's activating more chest. All right, now the little technique I'm gonna throw in for you that's really gonna help hammer the lower chest. I want you to pause at the bottom of each rep for three full seconds. Allow a good full stretch, three seconds, then come up, all right? Once you get to the bottom, three seconds, then come up. Let's put this in action, show you what it looks like. Wider, knees out, forward lean, one, two, three, straight back up. One, two, three, straight back up. Little rattle in this dip. One, two, three, straight back up. You'll also notice I go fairly deep. A 90 degree elbow bend is okay if you lack shoulder mobility, as long as you have that forward lean, all right? I've got a lot of mobility in my shoulder, so I like to take it pretty deep, but if you feel any shoulder discomfort at all, first thing, stop at 90 degrees, rotate your elbows in slightly, that should usually eliminate some of that. So again, yeah, a lot of, a lot of balance in this one, if you notice. But if you don't have this kind of bar dip, then again, hopefully you have access to the assisted dip at a gym. That's exercise number two. The third exercise we're gonna show you, this one's a little unique, all right? When I do my programming for my men and my coaching program, and again, I've been coaching guys for 27 years now, men and women, but I've been in the coaching business a long time. So if you've ever done a pullover, dumbbell pullovers before, you can do different things to make them target your lats or your chest. The one thing that makes a pullover a bad exercise for your chest is when the dumbbell's back here, okay, I'm gonna be lying on a bench. I'll actually show you while I'm lying on the bench. Then I'll show you how to do this correctly. All right, a pullover here is a full stretch and a full stretch in your lower chest. As you bring the weight up, you're activating your lats. Right here, you're activating your lower pecs. And then once you get directly over your head, there's no tension in this position, all right? So it's a very, shallow range of motion movement. So that's what prevents this exercise from being a really good lower chest exercise, all right? 
I'm going to show you how to do this with bands. So a resistance band is going to constantly be pulling it back and it's going to allow for a lot of tension. The other thing about it is, just as all other resistance band exercises, the more you pull, the more tension you create. So once we're right over our head, then I want you to crank those elbows in towards your midline of your body and come lower down here. And that's really gonna squeeze the lower pecs, all right? So now that we have that out of the way, let me show you what this looks like. You can, if you have a workout partner, you can have a workout partner holding the band behind you. If you work out by yourself, just hook this up to a, a dumbbell for support. And uh, that's all you're gonna need to do. All right, but let me show you what this looks like in action. And this is actually a really cool exercise when done this way. All right. So again, there's some resistance there. Even though there's not tension in the band, there's resistance from the dumbbell, all right? So that's what you're looking for. Here, I feel the band engaging along with the dumbbell weight. Now that I'm over my head, crank those elbows forward and drive right there. Lower chest. Nice stretch. Lower chest. Squeeze that chest together right at the bottom. And you're gonna love this exercise. Great lower chest exercise. Couple more here. So the cadence like to use nice and slow. Full range of motion. Drive forward, low. One more. Boom, right there. All right, so that's the three lower chest exercises I want you to do. But if you haven't done any of these at all, incorporate these as soon as possible. You're gonna notice it's gonna start getting tighter, the lower pec area. Here's the other thing, as you start getting leaner, because again, nutrition is paramount, all right? So you gotta make sure you're cleaning up your nutrition. You gotta get that body fat off. You gotta get more active, start walking, start moving more. Clean up your diet, move more, you're instantly gonna start feeling better, you're instantly gonna start getting some fat off your body, and then you're doing these at the same time, you're building muscle down in here that's gonna start shaping that lower part of your chest. So that is the secret and the key to getting rid of those man boobs, all right? So hope you like this video. Let me know down below what you think of the video, what you thought of some of these exercises. With that said, thanks for watching, and as always, get busy, get after it, and God bless.